Are you buying a home or thinking about it? The mortgage pre-approval is actually an important step before getting out there to look at homes. And I'm gonna tell you why. In addition, I'm gonna to reveal to you the number one reason why people are afraid of getting that mortgage pre-approval. So, let's dive in. I'm Jen McPhillamy, Realtor with Yegg Pro Realty. And today, we're gonna to talk about mortgage pre-approvals. So this is typically what I hear. Why do you even need that? I already went online. The calculator told me what I could afford. It seems like a huge waste of time and effort to be speaking to a lender about something they already know. So what I tell people is that first of all, the online calculator is actually just a ballpark of what you can afford. So before you start looking for homes, you need the mortgage pre-approval. And the reason is because when we're out there looking, we will find you the perfect home. Then you're gonna go get the financing and your hopes and dreams could be crushed when you don't get approved for that mortgage. Sounds ridiculous, right? Because the website you went to was a bank website or a lender website and they already told you what you could afford. How could they reject you for the mortgage? Well, what you didn't know is that the online calculator does not take into consideration all the things that a mortgage pre-approval does. One of the biggest things is your credit score. On top of that, they're also gonna look at things like proof of employment, how long you've been employed, what's your income, they're gonna need proof of income, so either pay subs or your notice of assessments, they're gonna check that you have the closing costs, and a few other things. The good thing is, once you have your mortgage pre-approval, you're gonna have far more certainty on what you can afford. So, when we do find you that perfect home, there's a better chance that your hopes and dreams of owning that home won't be crushed at the final stages. And pro tip here, that mortgage pre-approval will also lock in your rate, which is really excellent in a market where interest rates are going up. So while we're looking for the home, you have a locked in rate, 60, 90, 120 days is typical, and maybe the interest rates go up, but don't sweat it because you already have that lower rate and that's what you'll be locked into for when you sign the papers. Also, if the rates drop, during that time, you're not gonna be locked into that higher rate. The bank will give you the lower of the two rates. Okay, so as promised, I'm gonna tell you the number one fear home buyers don't like to get the mortgage pre-approval. And you may be surprised to know, but they're afraid of being rejected. But fear not, my friends. If you have the minimum 5% down, proof of closing costs, and a decent credit score, chances are you're gonna be approved. However, you may not be approved for the amount that you were hoping for. If for some reason you don't qualify for a mortgage during the pre-approval, your lender will tell you why, and nine times out of 10, you'll be able to fix it. It may be a quick fix, or it may take some time to fix it. Bottom line is, you're gonna know where you stand, which is so important. It will allow you to make a plan so you can reach your home ownership goals. Don't be a Darby and stop resisting it like she resists walking in the snow in her winter boots. Get out there, get your mortgage pre-approval, and let's go look for your perfect home. So if you have any questions, you can comment below this video and I will respond to you or just reach out to me directly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss future videos like this. I hope you found this video to be helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.